Beauty of Joson Relief Sun Aqua Fresh Sunscreen is a new launch from the brand. I'm going to be testing this out today so we can see if this is dark skin friendly and if it lives up to its claims. But first, what are the claims? I'm going to be reading this out so that we are on the same level and you know what I am testing. So this sunscreen is said to be lightweight, hydrating, non-greasy, leaves no cast and is ideal for all skin types. But we can see that the brand is pushing this more to those who have combination to oily skin. And I basically fall in this category. So excited for that. So I received this sunscreen in PR from BT of Sun, And here's what the packaging looks like. And when I open it up, so here's what the box looks like. So we have this leaflet here. So right here shows you the specification. The next page shows you the key features. Hold on. I'm moving down to the finish. The finish is said to be sheer, semi-matte and darker skin friendly. Okay. I will hold you to that beauty of Jerusalem. The next page shows you some reviews and the next page shows you like a wider differentiation between them. And I actually really do like that. So this is really helpful. Let's move down to the sunscreen itself. All right. So we have a different mount here. So I want to do a hand swatch right now. All right. This is, this is runny. When compared to all the sunscreens by the brand, this is the most runny in consistency. So I'm going to use my fingers to blend it in. Okay, beauty of Joseon, I see you. I'm going to let this air dry. Okay, here's what the back of my palm looks like with sunscreen, without sunscreen. Any difference? So in my opinion, there's a slight difference, just really slight. Where it didn't have sunscreen is flat on dry, whereas here with sunscreen is moisturized, not greasy or shiny in any way. Also doesn't look like this product on my skin, but then I can feel some slight, just teeny tiny stickiness. So that tells me that I have product on. And this stickiness is not like a glue kind of stickiness. It's just that feeling you get when you apply like a moisturizer or a serum. So far, I'm pleased with the result I got here. So I'm going to apply this on my face. Hopefully we get the same result or even better. Right now, I have no single product on my face aside from the lip gloss I have on. As always, I'll measure the sunscreen. I don't necessarily have to because off camera, I don't do this whole measurement thing. I just pour and gauge with my eyes or use as much as I like. Time to blend. So I'm going to give this some time to air dry. I have given this enough time to sink in and here's what my face looks like. I'm just going to tap it. No shine. I'm going to take you guys out now so you can see what my face looks like with natural lights. This is with studio lights. Just one light by the way. So let's go. Here's what my face looks like with natural light. So let's go back to the studio and I'll share with you guys what I observed. In terms of how this feels on the skin, this is a lightweight sunscreen as it claims and it is slightly running in consistency. In terms of finish, I would say this is between skin-like and semi-matte because some areas of my face, I feel some sort of powderiness and some sides just feel just there, which is like skin-like. In terms of fragrance and alcohol, this is said to be fragrance free, alcohol free, and this is show all free. But hold on, let me sniff it for you guys. I previously sniffed it, but then I forgot what I perceived. It has this plastic like, plant like scent. That's the very first thing that popped up in my head. I hope that helps. 
but it's not like terrible. And after application, you don't, you know, perceive it. That's when it does air dry. I did not perceive it. We already know that this is dark skin friendly. So it definitely it lives up to its claims on that area. Now I'm going to move to the sunscreen filters. So this sunscreen is a chemical sunscreen and the sunscreen filters are Uvinol T150, Megzero XL, Megzero SX, Uvinol A+, and Tinosorb S. Other ingredients worth mentioning includes rice water, panthenol, and glycerine. So does this sunscreen sting the eyes or does it peel? In terms of eyes sting, nothing at all in terms of peeling i did notice a bit around here but now i'm swiping my fingers through my face like so i can't find it anymore so for now nothing but if anything changes i'll definitely let you guys know in the comment section as i continue to use this sunscreen so i want to touch on some popular questions most of you asked beauty of jerusalem on instagram the first one is that is it fragrance free i saw it a lot the brand has already said that yes it is fragrance free it doesn't contain any artificial fragrance but for me it does have that plastic like plant like scent going on there which is not overpowering is it niacinamide free i didn't see any niacinamide listed on the ingredient list so it is definitely niacinamide free it is also free of Tinsub M, which is very, very good. And I'm very happy about that. Um, does it leave a cast? Of course, no, there's no Tinsub M. So there's no form of cast whatsoever. Another question is that, is this a good base for makeup? I will say that always all sunscreens are a good base for makeup, but I may try this out in a different video and share with you guys. Is this water resistant or waterproof? The brand does not explicitly say if this is water resistant or waterproof. But I'll say that I don't think it is water resistant or waterproof in any way. I will be able to do that for you guys in this video as well. But I will definitely update you guys in the comment section. So check out for all my updates. Let me know in the comment section if you'd like me to compare this with a new one. You guys have to ask me or rather you guys need to tell me if you want me to, you know, compare them so I can film it. So I look forward to your response. So I'm going to go off camera right now and I'll be back in two or three hours to show you guys what my face looks like and then we can conclude this feature. Hey guys, I am back and I've had this on for good two hours, 10 minutes. It is currently windy outside so I wouldn't be able to show you guys what my face looks like with natural light because of how the weather is right now. Um, I'll come forward a bit before I use this paper towel to block one side so we can see how shiny my face got. So now I have this here. I just built one side of my face and we can compare each side. I don't know if this blotted is going to help you guys see the difference. I hope it does. It has been blotted down and hair hasn't been touched whatsoever. What do you think? So I definitely can see a difference between both sides, especially like my T-zone on this area, my forehead, my cheek and my chin are shiny. Whereas this area here, not really shiny. So after wearing this for over two hours and blotting one side of my face, I hope this feature helps you decide on if this is a sunscreen to go for. All skin types can definitely wear this as stated by the brand. Some people may find it powdery and some may not. But when compared to these two sunscreens here, I prefer the finish of the Beauty of Joseon. That's the one I have on to them. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe down below, leave any questions you have in the comment section, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.